Hello guys! I believe many people think that a vlog of a person who lives in times of war can be anything but motivational. And today I intend to prove just the country. I am sure you know the phrase, if life gives you lemons, prepare a lemonade. Well, I have to say, Ukrainians took this advice to a totally different level. If Russia outnumbers you in aircraft, continuously bombs your territory, destroy their plants on which they built these bombers. And I think this is huge. Brave Ukrainian drones travel deep inside Russian Rhea. Well, actually not that Russian, because they have reached Tatarstan, which is one of the republics inside Russian Federation. And actually, Tatarstan tried to proclaim independence in the 90s. Maybe the collapse of Kremlin will inspire them to repeat this procedure. But now in Kazan, they have a plant on which Russian bombers 222 and 260 are constructed, reconstructed, repaired, and so on. But not anymore. Because in the result of special military operation of Ukrainian intelligence service, we have neutralized this military target. Let me tell you more about such efforts and why they are important for the freedom and peace in this world. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Tatarstan is really, really, really far away from Ukraine. It takes more than a thousand and sometimes a thousand and six hundred kilometers for Ukrainian drones to travel. And during the last months of war, we've managed to work that hard, invent that hard, that our drones are capable of crossing these uh, territories unnoticed because Russian air defense is not working. And uh, on the 17th of April, we have targeted a plant in Kazan, which is the capital of Tatarstan. Uh, and actually, Russians have relocated many of their military plants and factories or renovated the old ones that were not working uh, since Soviet times deeper inside Rhea because they realize they do not control their skies. A beautiful message from Ukrainian drones. So this plant in Kazan was responsible for the production of 222 and 2160, which are very evil for Ukraine. And now, whoops, they won't be able to continue. What is also beautiful, this is the second special military operation of Ukrainian drones to Tatarstan in this month. On the 2nd of April, we have destroyed the Shahed drone factory. Actually, it's fascinating. I cannot imagine the faces of Russian uh, generals learning that Ukrainian drones have destroyed the factory for Russian drones, just as it should be. And I hope once again, this lack of protection of these facilities, explosions that are heard in Tatarstan will inspire more of the people to think about the liberation from Russian Federation and building their own democratic society. By the way, we have a beautiful video about the future dissolution of Russia, which will be a solution for all of us who want to live in a peaceful and good uh, world. But I'm very proud of these Ukrainian drones. There are different kinds of them that work in the sea, that are able to travel deep inside Russian Rhea. Actually, this is huge, almost 2,000 kilometers that they are able to travel unnoticed, undetected and unstoppable until they finally reach these really good goals. That's why I love the idea of NAFO and 69 Sniffing Brigade to start and support more of Ukrainian brigades with FPV drones. I love the phrase, you can adopt a drone now. So here is a beautiful address from the 36th Brigade that needs our help. We are 36th Brigade. We need FPV drones to defend Ukraine and freedom world. We ask NAFA and Charity Fund Help 99 to help us. Slava Ukraini! Героям слава! 
I am very proud and I'm very honored that together we can participate in such campaigns and in actions help Ukrainian army fight. And this idea to adopt a drone is very, very beautiful. We have developed two patches and campaign runs simultaneously. We help a tank battalion of the 57th Brigade and 36th Brigade. One will get a NAFO truck, another will get a number, a swarm, a flock of beautiful Ukrainian drones, and you can get beautiful patches, one with raccoon drone operator and another one with a beautiful bird. There are lots of such birds in the eastern part of Ukraine, Caper Kelly. And uh, Russian trolls try to demotivate us in comments, but this actually inspires and motivates me even more. Same as the information that recently Ukrainian drones managed to target another location deep inside Russian Ria in Mordovia, which also has a potential to become an independent state one beautiful day. And there, the Russians have the largest radar that they use for the coordination of work of many of uh, their uh, elements. Uh, I mean, other air defense systems in different parts of uh, Russia. And the, its destruction will lead to huge holes in this location scanning thing that they do. With this Mordovia radar, they are able to scan uh, 3,000 kilometers around and Ukrainian drones have already targeted this facility which is once again very beautiful. And I so much hope that many of these territories that are not Ruski Mir in its essence will see how miserable Russia is, how negligent it is actually to the protection of its peoples. We see that only Kremlin Goblin is well protected and his gang, uh, all the other people are very, very vulnerable. It is good that Ukrainians are not orcs and we only target legitimate military uh, objects, but otherwise Russia would be very, very vulnerable. And it is. So united we stand and we see this very important achievements and I think it's the best way to support. The link for a NEFO campaign you will find in the description of this video, same as it will be pinned as the first comment. Do join our beautiful community and remember to uh, follow me on Instagram, threads, Twitter and in the Discord community. I remind you that we plan a live conversation this Sunday. And thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and inspiring more of my project. I am blessed and privileged to have you as friends and family in my life. And we also have a shop that works well as um, for your presence, for reminders about Ukraine in the format of t-shirts, stickers and other stuff that you may like. All the links, once again, that you need are in the description of this video. But most importantly, united we stand and taking into account the number of evil troll comments, I feel like something good is coming. Slava Ukraini!